She doesn't understand violence. Okay, She understands aggression. Aggression, it's very easy when you're hitting somebody in the face or you're stretching their arms out. That's very easy. Violence is a two-way street. Violence is give and take. She doesn't understand that. Chael Sonnen, or Sonnen, however you say his name, he made a swipe at Ronda Rousey by saying she doesn't understand violence. He's talking about the ring, but actually, that's a problem a lot of us have as martial artists, is that we don't understand violence. We don't take the time to try to study how a fight occurs. We actually think we're going to always be able to go out there if somebody attacks us and implement our game plan exactly as it is in the dojo, dojong, kun, or whatever you train. And we don't bother to understand violence. Understanding violence encompasses a lot of stuff. It means like taking the time to find out how criminals think, how they pick their victims, and using strategy, using street smarts. Fortunately, these days, you don't have to go out and get into a lot of bar fights to learn it. There are a bunch of books that you can read by different authors who I'll list off in a minute. You can also talk to people who have more violence experience than you do. It's usually much like being a teacher. If, if you can't do it, teach it. Go and talk about it, even though you couldn't do it yourself. All right, that's about the only thing I disagree with uh, Chael in, that you don't need to go out there and try to gather as much violence experience as possible. There are actually books out there that are written by some authors who've suffered so that you don't have to suffer. Another thing you can do is just talk to people. I mean, I've known people who have not always been upstanding, law-abiding citizens. We really couldn't cover that in class. I can't cover that in class without, you know, possibly being sued or something. And the thing is, in the martial arts, we are about building character. Yes, performing under stress, but we're about building character. And we can't teach you techniques and work on building character through that process and spend a lot of class time going into getting you ready to understand violence. But there's hope. Read books by Mark Mac Young, Lawrence A. Kane, Peyton Quinn, and uh, some books. Oh, Gavin DeBecker's The Gift of Fear is another good one to read. And books by Masad, Masad, Masad Ayub. I have not read any Masad Ayub books yet. But he comes highly recommended when it comes to understanding violence. Another thing you can do is if you know a police officer, you can ask a police officer what kind of things he or she has seen and how things go down with people they arrest and in prisons. If you know a prison guard, you can talk to a prison guard. You could also just observe things, look at the security camera footage. And uh, right now with my cable provider, we have the ID channel. They have true crime shows that come on there. Look at that. You need to become a student of violence. Start reading up on criminology. Start reading up on psychology. Dissect how a fight starts, why people fight, and different types of violence. Now you don't understand that it goes both ways and how to deal with it. Belts on the mitts. Coaches that do just beautiful the way they hold those mitts. Fighters. It's just beautiful the way they move and shuck and jive. Come over here and dip this way and slip that way and come under bob and weave and do all these different things. It's got very, very little to do. It's a good supplement workout. But the real training should be in learning how not to get in fights in the first place, in learning how violence starts, in, in learning awareness so that you can see if somebody's going to attack you, learning about how people hide different weapons. That's the stuff that should be real training for those of us who aren't stepping in the ring, who are really truly about self-defense. Peace.